Hey guys, welcome to my nice object show. This is pretty cool, right? Yeah. In this epic object show named Dave. Dave. We'll be doing some epic stuff, you guys. Yeah. So your prize is what even is the prize? Your prize is this nice dirt. 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 dirt, dirt. OMG guys, that part is so Sigma and Speedy Toilet fans are quite them by camp. Where did he go? He deserved it. Oh hush, you green, conveniently placed made out of tree, goofy eye looking money man. Obviously, Turtle Man did not deserve his unfateful fate. He deserves something way better. I love death. Okay guys, we have to take action. Sure the prize is cool. Dirt, but is that really worth having the life of an innocent turtle be taken from us? I believe we should take our revenge now. How about dirt, but with salt? Oh my gosh, yes, I love the prize. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I love you so much. Alright, now we're gonna divide up t the teams and like, people I like, and people I HATE! So let's do this. Uh, hold on, let me, um... And... There. Go, name your teams now. I think our team name should be a team that represents all of us together, as the United Force. Agreed. But what will be your team name? Cookies! Well, we would have okay, guys, we need to come up with a team name. I fucking hate this host. Today's challenge does not look like great. Oh wow, would you look at that? Team Cookie win the challenge. Team I hate this host is up for elimination. Wait, what? Last time, I hate this host lost because Grape looked like a grape. We got a total of five votes. The person with the most votes will leave the show. Cotton Kenny, Creamy, Airy, that weird turtley guy thing. You all got zero votes. Next is our stylist and computer with one vote. Wait, so I'm out? Just like that? How many votes did I even get? Three votes. What? This is so unfair. I can't believe it. You little boo boo had to get. Ah, uh, what's this? A sleepover. Well, hold on, let me go ask my parents real quick. Yo, parents, can I go to this epic sleepover? No. But no. <laughs> no! No! Alright guys, your challenge today is to convince my parents to let me go to that sleepover. If you fail to do that, your team is up for elimination. Go! Alright team, we need a plan. I could go talk to the host, you know, get some background information about why the sleepover is important to them, and use that as a reason to convince their parents. Oh, good idea. Here, use these headphones so that we can hear everything that the host is saying. I will stay here and help us create our PowerPoint. I'll just uh, stand here, I guess. Well, my pencil man is going to cause some chaos on the other team. Bye bye. Well, look at this nice article written about the benefits of sleepover. That sleepovers are more about silliness and staying up late. They help children develop an independence and adapt to the situation outside the routine. They get a prox they they get a lot of practice, social decision away from school, and it's flexibility. It's healthy for us. Wow. Well, Oh hey, look at this another article from Parenting Place, which is, I suppose, good computer. Uh, anyhow, it says, 
Staying away from home is a good opportunity for growth and resist, resilience and confidence. And wow, this is actually good. Good job, computer. Thank you. I will add this to the PowerPoint. Boo. <gasps> you murdered her. What are you gonna do about it? We're gonna kill you. As if you could ever kill me. Guys, come on, fighting is pointless. Let's just go to the recovery center area, if there is one, and just go recover cotton ball. Good idea. So, like, run it by me one more time. Why is the sleepover so important to you? Well, one of the reasons the sleepover is so important is because, because, like, my friends are moving away next year, so, like, this is, like, the last time we'll be able to do this before they move away, you know? Ah, uh, yes, I do understand, my friend. However, is there anything that your parents think is gonna happen to you if you do go to the sleepover? Maybe that's the reason? I think they think I'm gonna get kidnapped or something? Maybe? I don't know. Well, yeah, kidnapping can happen and all, but like... You've been to this person's house before, like you mentioned before, like, I don't know, five times, you said? So I think by now, you parents should trust the parents that the sleepover was happening now to, like, not kidnap you and such. Oh yeah, that's a solid point. I should go tell my parents that. Oh, recover cotton ball! Oh, uh, I'm not the person who recovers stuff around here. Go talk to that giant circle thingy. Uh, I don't know. What do you mean by all my collagen? Eh, uh, recover cotton ball? So obviously, darling, I said, uh, why? Well, thank you for recovering me, darling. Now let's go conveniently get our plan for the sleepover. Hey, money, how's it going? Great. What about you, Nerdbar? What are you doing? I don't think we should disturb him at all. Okay. Oh, hey, Pansy, you're back. How'd it go? Terrible. I literally did not do anything. Of all things, I made them figure out who how to recover people now. I see. Pencilman, why don't you just take TV and erase all their data right when they finish their PowerPoint? They'll surely sabotage them. Okay. Okay, and there the PowerPoint is done. Smile. You okay, Cotton Ball? Oh, uh, uh, obviously, yes, I'm okay, dear. Don't, don't worry about me. You've been locked in weird ever since you weren't recovered. Scratch that, Pencilman back. Time to kill them greater than. Still computer and it's run to erase our PowerPoint. We must capture him! Harry, you stick with Turtley. Me, Cotton Ball, and Creepy will all go chase up the fence. Okay. Oh, Harry, Can I have a sleep? Pencilman, is that you? Oh my god, it's been like months, dude. Where have you been? We, we, we sent out an investigation and everything and looked for you. Uh, I don't remember you. Can I just have a skate, please? Okay. Could we, like, also have a ski? Just take it. I think we're getting a little screen time, guys, due to us doing absolutely nothing in... Well, how about we spice that up? You sound constipated. What we're going to do is destroy your uh, thingy. Haha, <laughs> evil, yes. Wahaha. <laughs> Not if we stop it. Good job.
up, we successfully killed Team Cookie. Now let's just take their plans and use it in our PowerPoint Watch computer and them get back. Yeah, speaking of our team, where are they? Make it, we need to go faster. We're trying our hardest. I suppose we can always try running into him. Perhaps that might work. Wait, cutting candy, that's actually a good idea. I was being for everyone turn in three, two, one. You're not gonna win this. Wait, computer, you're back! Th does that mean we won? Yippee! Yay! Okay, but like, how are we gonna get back? Cause like, we fell from a cube from the sky and now we're literally like 400 feet away from it. Or even more, so like, how? I... Uh... Oh, hi guys, you're back! That stick guy here killed Team Cookie, so we pretty much won the challenge. Okay team, it's time to show your presentations off to my parents. Team Cookie, you can go first. Oh, uh, okay, so, like, you should let him go because, like, this is his last year with his friend before they move away, and they'll be very sad if you don't let him go. And also, you'll be a party pooper if you don't let him go. Um, and, uh, um, uh, 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 uh trust him, okay? You, you've done this, like, five times. Just trust him already. God, God damn. Yeah. Here is ours, why you should let host go to sleepover. Sleepover on March 29, they hang out, house is Mia, heck no, I'm not reading all of that. Here's some more info I guess, only gone for 24 hours, can't do it for long because friends moving away, Google. No. Well, because both teams fell to convince my parents, are both up for elimination. Wait, I have one last idea. Quickly, host, kill me. I'm back. Well, just because of this, yeah, son, you can go to sleep over now. <laughs> I think it's time you have a look at yourself. Fine. <gasps> what did I do? I think that we have an issue. What is it? Turtley is forcing everyone to mew. I see. Say, hey, Leaf Man, you don't have to stop these guys? Man, I don't know. Ask Stylus or something. She's smart. Hey, Stylus. Uh, you don't have to stop these mewing people. They're kind of infecting everyone with it. And this is an issue. I don't, but we have a massive problem. If they try to make the host mew, and he actually does, there's massive consequences. The host will go actual craziness. They'll like, I don't know, do something crazy and kill everyone. Guys, we don't have much time. We have to quickly stop them before it's too late. Oh, hey, guys, bleh. What the bleh? <laughs> I think we're going to die. No sh- Okay, you two keep running up those windows. How can I have let this happen? I've been so foolish. I should have- I Why are we doing this? To board up the windows so these quote-unquote viewers can't infect us with their virus or whatever. I don't remember ever anyone being named Meatball. Please, I'm begging you, there's five of us. Please, just let us in. So, uh, who wants to open that door? We cleaned all of it. Okay, let's just kick us there. Alright, welcome Team Cookie to your first elimination. The host is currently... I don't know, so I'll be your new host for now. 
If you're safe, you'll get this weird purple goop thing out of day five's dead corpse. Let's get started. We got a total of six of the 3D ball, me, keyboard, mousey, and money man all got zero votes. And the last person safe is Leafman with only one vote. Nerdball, you're eliminated with a total of five votes. Okay, I'll just let me ball it. Yeah, no, I'm not murdering my own teammate. It was just an idea. Our goal is to stay alive during this apocalypse. You think we yeah, want to die, die as yes, he could be a valuable member of our team? Can't believe how I'm going to disrespect the people. Guys, stop arguing. We're not going to get out of this hole and stop the apocalypse if we keep arguing. Okay, guys, let's put our minds together and think of a solution. Hmm. 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 Where are we? You are my epic optic You are the final four of Blue Show. Epic. Now, whatever your name is, we are not here to compete in your op show. We need to get back to our show. Send us back right Freddy Ball, Creamy, TV, and Computer are all eliminated from being a big. <laughs> Idea. This is stupid. Oh boy, I, I always wanted to be in space. This is so epic. Wee! Oh look, it's a solar eclipse. Hey guys, it's me, Eclipsy. So the way you defeat the mirrors is like, just make them talk. Oh yeah. Wait, we're not supposed to be looking at that. <laughs> Oh no, we are going to die, this is the end. Wait, I have one more idea. Hey host, you're such a beta for mewing. Only Sigmas don't mew. Um, what the Sigma? Uh, yes, you're back host, but please fix this mewing issue. Pretty much everyone's infected. Oh, shoot, I got that bad. Uh, sure, I will fix it. Wait, what happened? I'm confused. Obviously, Darwin, we got possessed by an evil Sigma evil guy who possessed us by opening our mouth and putting our tongue in the back of our the pallet or whatever it's called to make us mute, which would come up for some reason gain control over us. By that time, we also begin to fucking infect everyone else with this mute virus for some random reason. I don't really know why, but like we kind of got control or something. We were really right now, to be honest. But you really got to watch it. Wait, where's Pencilman and Turtley? You got to give up. Pencil man, my fellow Skibbities probably rizzed all your friends already. They're probably mewing already. There's no point in resisting our Skibbity, Pencil man. No, I refuse to fucking lose to a damn turtle!
What? Uh, where am I? What is this place? What the? And Team Cookie wins the challenge. Team, I hate this host is up for the. We got